so today we're going to discuss about one more CKID scenario so here I'm I'm discussing two scenarios at a time because these are like very similar scenarios and uh, short uh, very short scenario that's the reason I'm just uh, included two and they both look a similar one so first task is we need to deploy a winter pot to the cluster using the AML already the AML is provided so we need to retrieve all currently available application logs from the running pod and that we need to store in the file which already been created for us so and okay this is the first task it's always useful to look at the preserves obligation we're consuming in the cluster that's okay okay in next task case we need to um, verify the resources which applications are consuming more in our cluster in our case which pod is consuming which more cpu so from the list of pods running in the namespace cpu stress we need to write the name of the pod only which is consuming more cpu to this file which is already been created for us this is in the cpu stress is the namespace and the name only we need to write it down so as you guys already know so once the moment when we switch uh, when we switch to the question right uh, we need to switch the context also that is the main important thing that we need to remember and the second one is um, just focus on the question whatever it is asked okay so first task case uh, they have not mentioned uh, right any namespace or nothing they have just mentioned that there is already file exist so we need to just go ahead and apply it you guys are already aware this is my test cluster so i don't have any uh, ports maybe exist so i will just create the scenario like uh, accordingly we can focus and we can verify okay so i have the pod manifest if in you if you want to write in your case just go ahead get uh, the pod manifest from the kubernetes documentation and uh, do it so into okay so you still get ports so the ports are the pod is just created uh, it's under creating so let's verify if the pod is running so now the pod is running state so question says we need to just retrieve the all logs from the pod which is running in this particular um, area and we need to just move it that into this logs dot output dot txt okay so i'll use this so kubectl logs i am not using any namespace and we will just use the we will just verify whether the pod logs are stored into the given file or not so so this is the log entry from the pod this is the logs that we have for that pod so that's we have just written into the given path so this is a simple task in uh, your exam right there might be some logs that need to be uh, just stored in a file which is already given and we need to apply the uh, we need to create the pod from the given manifest so you need to make sure whether they have mentioned the namespace or not the tunnel we need to make sure whenever we are executing uh, the given task not only this task any task right okay this is it for the first task so we will just move to the second task from the parts running in the namespace that means cpu stress so let me quickly get namespace you guys already know i'm in test cluster so i don't have any uh, namespace first i will create the namespace here and then we will move to the actual task so yes now i have created next uh, next one is uh, in the second task write the name of the pod which is consuming the most cpu so in your exam scenario right we might have already the we, we, we will be having the pods running like multiple pods in this namespace that the pods are running so cubes you can get pods i have the namespace whatever the namespace you are going to test uh, that you need to use so here are the two pods running but in your exam right it might be there are a number of pods whatever the given file so if you see kubectl top just to get the top resources which this pod is using so you can see the stress is uh, stress one the pod is one nine twenty six it is using so we need to store this name into the given file so the file is um, 
property ck dev number for dot txt so which already been created for you in the exam right so let me get that command so i'll explain you what is doing okay so the command executed and let's see like can it help you see works oh sorry ckd and pod .txt, right you can see the pod name which we returned whichever is consuming more cpu this is how you will get a kind of scenarios uh, for definitely one question from in ckd so make sure you are uh, aware of uh, like how to get that this is uh, required a little bit uh, linux knowledge so the first right here you can see the kubectl top pod this is just just to get the matrix of uh, the pod and n and uh, this is the namespace that you are uh, using and the next one is sort k2 and dash nr that is the one it is sorting by cpu okay <clears throat> and uh, next one is head hyphen n1 that is the top entry which we are like we are sorting with the right cpu so then we are using the top entry that is the stress uh, dash one that is the first line and then awk print dollar one this is the extract the pod name that's the first line right no headers right we use the no headers so that will that will it will remove this headers name cpu memory and then it will redirect to the file that's what it is doing optc so that is how you need to make sure you are uh, following what is asked in the question accordingly you can solve these questions right uh, does not require any Kubernetes manifesto or something, right? You don't want to go for the documentation and get and verify it. So it is straight away solution. Just uh, go ahead and uh, extract or copy the logs or pod name, whatever it is asked in the exam. That is how you can solve the question easily. Thank you. Stay tuned for interesting videos. Next video will be like readiness probe and liveliness probe that I'm going to post very soon. Thank you for your time as i said always so if you find my videos are helpful don't hesitate to offer me a coffee over buy me a link thank you guys bye